เติมเนื้อผักเพิ่มดิเฮ้ยฮัลโหลเพื่อนไอ้ฮอปยูอาร์อัลดูอินเกรทอัลด์เดย์วันนี้ในคลิปนี้ผมจะพูดเกี่ยวกับการใช้ไบซิคเซนเมทอดนี่เป็นวิธีที่ง่ายที่สุดในการตอบคำถามของเราเพื่อหาทางออกของปัญหาดังนั้นเราไปเริ่มต้นกันเลยครับนี่คือไบซิคเซนเมทอดและในคลิปนี้ข้อที่1คือการใช้ไบซิคเซนเมทอดและการใช้ไบซิคเซนเมทอดในโปรแกรมในซีนี่คือการอธิบายที่เต็มไปด้วยคำถามของเราในคลิปนี้Axis. This is our y-axis and this is x-axis. Let's say there is a function f x, and the graph looks like this. And the solution, as you can see here, it is one solution of this function. That means this, the value of x here can satisfy this function. So this is our solution. So bisection method works something like this. Let's say We are <coughs> some first. We have to decide the range. Like here is the range is from x zero to x one. This is our range, and then we are going to just find the middle point of this range. Here the middle one is x two, and then we are going to see that the solution exists. Either in this, uh, either in the left side of the of this middle point or in the right side of this point, then we are going to just change it accordingly. Like here, the uh, here the solution lies on the right side of this middle point. So then we are going to change this x zero from here to here, and then again we are going to do the same thing. Until you come to this point, okay. Then the steps are something like that. Uh, firstly, for the range, this is the thing. Then we have to first find the range. So we have to do this. We have to get two values of x where the signs can be different. Can be opposite, like one value should be minus and another one should be plus. So their their product have to be less than zero. So that is what we are doing here to get the range, and then we have to get the middle point. Just we have to do this, add up two values and divide it by two. That's it. And then decide whether we have to change x zero or x one. Maybe sometime we have to change x zero to the middle point, or sometime the x one to the middle point. Then we are going to decide it by this formula. If x f of x two less than zero, then we are going to change x zero. And if f of x two is greater than zero, then we are going to change x one. That's it. So what is the algorithm for this? These are the steps. First, we have to define the function. That means the f x, and the second one is read the range. That means we have to first decide that what should be the range. Maybe first we are giving the value of x zero and x one that there is no solution in between this range. So we have to first decide the correct range. Okay, the third one is calculate x two and then change x zero and x one accordingly as you saw. And the third fourth step is if x two is not the answer, then go to the third step again. That means if x two doesn't satisfy this equation, if x then again we have to calculate a new x two. So the fifth one is. Just print the answer and number of iterations, then stop. That is the algorithm. We have to do do this five steps mainly, and then 
this that's it here is the program in c for bisection method let's start as include sdbfa dot h as include sdblb dot h as include math dot h yes we are we need that math dot h for header file to use the use a function and we have to define the function let's say a function like this x cube minus x minus 1 you can do a function call if you want then you can return the function value and in there it is the main function and we are going to use float here x0 then x1 and x2 and the int k for the number of iterations and float and float more e is equal to point zero zero one it is the e we are going to use it for the accuracy because the answer is not going to exactly like zero so it is almost zero so we are going to check it by e then a do while loop enter the value for x0 and x1 or you can just say the range enter the range and then scan scan if percent if to store a float value comma and percent x0 comma percent x1 that's it and the condition should be f of x0 f of x0 into f of x1 should be greater than should be less than 0 so this while loop will rotate until it gets that correct value correct range and then another do while loop for calculate x2 x2 is equal to x0 plus x1 divided by 2 and you can just give the k plus plus here and here we should write k is equal to 0 I think. and then uh, if if f of x2 greater than 0 then x1 is equal to x2 else x0 is equal to x2 and then here we can give the function f abs for absolute value 
and uh, here f of x2 is greater than e and if a absolute value of f of x2 is greater than e then this loop will rotate again so if the value of f of x2 is almost 0 then the loop is going to stop here and then we are just going to print the value root is root is equal to percent f and the number of iterations is equal to percent d for integer the root is x2 comma number of iterations is k and I return 0 that's it so that's it that is the C program for bisection method and if we run the program here is the bisection method the same program and if we just compile it and run it and we just have to put the range 1 2 3 so here is the answer 1.324699 and the number of iterations is 27 thank you for watching have a great day